So hello everybody. Um, I couldn't resist bringing you out and showing you the harrow combing in a field of oats today. Back in October we did a little vlog um, of us drilling and how we drill uh, in an organic system. Remember we try and drill as late as possible um, because your corn will get away, your weeds are suppressed and in the spring hopefully you've got a decent corn plant to get away, uh, put the ground into a bit of darkness and suppress the weeds again. As soon as it's dry enough in the spring, and we've had a great week's worth of weather, although it's a bit grey and misly today, um, the ground is plenty dry enough for harrow combing. Now the idea of the harrow comb is, is that it's uh, springtime, and what it'll do is go through that sort of top inch of topsoil and break it up and smash it up. It'll pull out any little weeds that are around, or a lot of the little weeds, and it'll actually damage the plant a bit. This is a field of oats and what it does is if it damages it don't worry about that at all because it just encourages the plant to tiller out you know years ago farmers would have grazed this off with sheep and the plant tillers um, and away it goes so harrow comb we would do about once every fortnight right up until you're actually damaging the main stem of the plant so this is our harrow comb it's a 12 meter springtime harrow folds up um, really useful bit of kit this this piece of equipment gets used an awful lot on our farm. It harrowcombs grass, crops, uh, incorporates grass seed. So it's actually got a, a grass seed box there on the top, so we'll use it for green crop manure uh, crops and grass seed mainly. Um, you can set the density at which it, or the, uh, the agitation of the machine, and I really want to see it stirring that bit of topsoil at this first pass, then later on as your plant grows, you can ease off a little bit. But as I say, about once a fortnight this will get harrowcombed, and this is its first pass. So when I look out the back of the tractor I want to see it's moved the soil um, and all just drag the plants about a bit and almost instantly you'll see an uptake a um, little bit of moisture and away it goes there was some research done by uh, the Scottish Agricultural College a few years ago which I read that suggested that about 25 kilograms of natural nitrogen are released in the topsoil after harrowcombing and we always see an improvement as I say, this is a field of oats, um, probably not the best piece of dirt that we've got on the farm. Um, and at harvest time, I'd expect this to yield about two tonnes. I have uh, managed three tonnes to the acre in an organic system. And later on, the next little vlog will be about how we top dress it with a bit of well-rotted farmyard manure. But really wanted you to see this because we've been here in October at drilling time. And now this is its first harrow comb. So the harrowcomb's been through at quite a, you know, it's agitated the topsoil and here you can see that it's been through the crop, it hasn't really damaged that at all and it doesn't matter if it does really, you're just encouraging the, uh, the crop to tiller out and you'll get a much stronger plant. But you can see it's broken that bit of topsoil, pulled out any little weeds, or a lot of them at least, um, and it's just broken that topsoil and this crop will alter um, tremendously over the next sort of 10 days or a fortnight and we'll pop back out and show you the next stage then when we're top dressing with manure. Um, have a great lambing, see you next time.